Hello. You've brought me a watch to look at? Okay, good. Yeah, I can do an appraisal and a light cleaning for you. Can you tell me anything about the watch? Okay, you got it. Storage auction, okay. Yeah, that is common. People find jewelry, watches, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I do. Uh, I can tell you a little about it. Um, let me put some gloves on before I handle it. What you have here is a Stova Flieger. Stova is the manufacturer. And they are based in Germany. And they've been around for quite some time, almost a century. And this Flieger is a modern reproduction of a 1930s model of pilot watch. These are automatic mechanical watches. There's no battery. They use springs inside to move the hands. And it's automatic because it winds as you move it. You can see the rotor right there, rotating as I twist the watch. They have a stainless steel body, and the great thing about the Stova Fliegers is that the glass on the front is actually sapphire crystal, which is, I believe, the second hardest mineral which makes them very scratch resistant. And your Flieger has a see-through back, which is also sapphire, allowing you to see the mechanism, the movement on the inside. You can see the balance wheel there, moving back and forth. You can see your jewels and your anodized screws. Gold-plated sprockets. It's a very nice timepiece. Looks to be in fairly good condition as well. I don't see any scratches on the crystal. Maybe some superficial scratches on the body. Looks like it came with another set of bands too. These would be the original bands. The black bands would be an accessory. Yeah, I can I can switch them for you, sure. I have a spring bar tool. These utilize a little bar that's spring-loaded on the end of each band. You can see this one here. So you have to compress that bar to get it to come out of holes that are in the body a little like doing surgery. I don't recommend doing it unless you've had practice. Sometimes even I can struggle with it. So I'm just going to compress that. There we go. I'm going to try to do this. 
without scratching anything. So while the pans are off, I'm going to go ahead and clean the area underneath the pans. It's very difficult to reach this spot when the pans are installed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. No, there's no quartz in this. Quartz is usually in a battery-powered watch. And it's timed by the vibrations of quartz as an electrical current is run through it. These are purely mechanical, springs and gears only. A good way to tell is, if you look at the second hand, it's very smooth in its rotation. It doesn't tick, tick, tick like a quartz watch does. So manually wind these. They make an excellent sound too. Here, hold this to your ear. See if you can hear it. Isn't that nice? Stova is still around, and you can mail these to them, and they will fully disassemble, and lubricate, and calibrate your timepiece, and then send it back to you. It does cost some money. It might be worth it if you intend on keeping it. It's looking very nice. We'll go ahead and put those brown bands on for you. Just as tricky as taking them off. They make spring bands that have little handles on them now. And it makes it much easier to uninstall and reinstall bands. Or you can do what I do when I like a watch. I just buy two of them. I keep a black band on one and a brown band on the other. <laughs> Okay. 
switch sides if you want. These watches have uh, overwind protection, so you don't have to worry about overwinding them. Once they're fully wound, they they'll just stop winding. They'll disengage the mechanism. Yeah, they are slightly waterproof. I don't recommend wearing a watch of this caliber if you plan on swimming or anything like that, but if you accidentally fall in to a pool, it shouldn't be ruined. It'll last about 48 hours under its own power between windings, and you can let it wind down. It won't damage the watch in any way. Like it appraised? Okay, sure. I have a form. I can fill out. Feel free to take it anywhere else as well. I'll grade the components. The face looked very good. setting crown rotates really the mechanical function seemed perfect balance bands have slight wear on them, but that's okay. That doesn't hurt the value that much. Front glass. No scratches on your glass, which is good. I wouldn't expect any with sapphire. So I would... I have a flow chart here. Based on the scores. The watch itself, brand new, retails for twelve hundred. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars. Yes. Given its current condition, I would say it should go between eight and nine hundred. yours. Um, again, I would recommend 
a look into sending it back to Stova to have the internals calibrated and lubricated. And you should have yourself a very nice watch for a very long time. Okay. Thank you for coming in.